And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look kind of at a toy item. Uh, this is Simon Air. Now, Simon is a device that's been around forever. I think it's from the 70s. Uh, it's where you hit the numbers and patterns until you get to about seven in a row and then you forget, like most people. But some people can get much farther than that. And if you practice, you can get farther. Well, Simon Air wants to use kind of like motion sensors. So instead of touching things, you just need to come near these to do them. And when you do these, you can do two at the same time. All right, so this is kind of a, uh, a toy, a game, I guess, where you're trying to beat your high score. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is Simon Air. You can see, you can turn it on here which turns it on, it makes the different noises. There's a one player, a two player. You can even play the classic mode and it turns off after a very short amount of time. So if you're not going to be using it at all, as you can see, it turns right back off. So the way that Simon, this Simon Air works is you are basically, you put your hand near an object. So you, you don't have to touch it and if you're too far away, it won't read it. As long as you're close to it, And so if you've ever played Simon back in the old days, this is basically what the Simon game is. You just gotta remember this long pattern, like that. Okay, but let's switch it to the, the new game. This is where things get interesting. So watch as I play a game of Simon here. Now what that means is I went to the next level. So each, level is going to be a little bit different. So you notice I have to do two at the same time with my hands here. Now this is where it gets a little annoying is you'll notice I did put my hand there, but it didn't read it very well. Now realize I am coming from kind of a diagonal thing here because I'm showing this to you as I do this. See again there, I feel like I put my hands there um, as well as I best I could. Well, let's try it again. So that's the other thing that it will have you do. It will have you make your hands go down like that. I didn't even see what it told me to do there. Now this green light is blinking. That shows me how many points I have. So it was one, two, three, four. I have four points and then you're gonna score that way. So that's the single player. The double player mode is gonna be similar except you alternate. So I would do that. So then I would go and then the next person would come from the other side. Yeah, it's okay. See, it's impossible to do all four of them by myself. So you would do that with teammates, or you might come here to the top and split and slide down both. And that's basically it. You're just gonna try to score as high as you can. Um, if you don't hit this fast enough, you start over from the beginning. Otherwise, you can continue on the last level you were on. This gives you your score like a Morse code. It gives you a long green for 10 points and short, quick greens for one point each. And that's how you play Simon Air. Simon Air is a neat device, but it's okay. There's things I like about it. I like the sound effects. I like the lights. I like the technology. I like that you can do two hands. I like when you're playing with two players, do four hands. Just the two player experience itself is very intriguing. But this is ultimately frustrating because you saw in the one example where I messed up and I really did put my hands in the right place, but maybe they're a millimeter off. That's not the point of this game. The point of this game isn't to be like, oh, well, you, you gotta kinda have your hand in a four inch radius, whatever. I wanna be able to 
just do the right symbols and things and make it. The memory part of this is already hard enough for me. Having it not always read things perfectly right kind of ruins it for me. So I think some people are going to enjoy this, but I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen. People are going to buy this. You're going to stick in your house and people are going to play it for a while. Then it's going to get stuck on the shelf, sit there for a year. People bring it up and be like, oh, I remember this and they'll play it. So it's kind of a cool idea, a cool device, but ultimately it's okay. I wouldn't get it other than as a novelty. And while I like the two player variant, that's cool. Ultimately, I'd rather play something that is just in the long run more fun. Dice Tower of Judgment, nah, cool technology. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.